When a narcissist tries to play mind games with you, this is the only response you should give. Welcome to the Narcissist Exposed channel. We're back for another video. Those of you who have just arrived today, please accept my warmest of welcomes. Without your support, my channel would not exist. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. If you are new here, subscribing and activating the notification bell on this channel will ensure that you never miss any new videos from us, so please do so. Let's begin. If you have been the victim of a narcissistic abuser, this video will show you what the abuser is asking you to do and what it's better to do instead. This is the topic of our discussion today. First, please remember that there are some negative feelings that we need to face before deciding on the best course of action against a narcissist. So, if you want to fully understand what I'm saying, please stick around till the conclusion. People who like to present themselves as victims aren't worthy of your close attention, as if they were never to blame for anything. Everyone, including their relatives, has acted inappropriately toward them. Every one of their exes is crazy and mistreated them in some way. They are wonderful, yet nobody recognizes or appreciates their wonderfulness. Put another way, it's a complete and utter bunk. Nobody should have a long list of unfortunate events to look back on. If they do, you had better get out of there quickly because they're the lowest common denominator. Narcissists typically have a history of unsuccessful or transient romantic partnerships. Believe it or not, narcissists have a difficult time finding people who are willing to deal with them on a long-term basis due to their unstable nature and lousy behavior. We already know that narcissists get a kick out of making other people feel something. Even after you've been shattered and wrecked, they still want more. If a narcissist has harmed and betrayed you, the work isn't done for them. Your abusers need to know that the injuries they inflicted on you have lasted a lifetime. Only when they can break your spirit and make you unhappy and dark like themselves do narcissists succeed. As a result of this, they want your suffering to remain unresolved and prevent you from moving on. The narcissist wants you to hold on to feelings of hatred or resentment towards them rather than moving on. Most victims of narcissistic abuse harbor anger toward the person who abused them. Anger or dissatisfaction with someone or something because you believe it is unjust. Bitter indignation, as I refer to it, is what I mean. If a narcissist repeatedly mistreats us again and again, we're compelled to become enraged and bitter. In order to get rid of this wrath, one must first acknowledge that it exists. What is the procedure for accomplishing this? Think about the narcissist and how it makes you feel. When there is any unpleasant emotion, resentment will grow. The manner we deal with our rage is equally important. Acknowledging that there is a problem is the first step in managing one's anger. This may prompt others to open out about their own personal experiences of abuse in order to better understand what they've been through. The act of discussing a difficult subject can help you move ahead in some instances. If you need help, get it from a professional who is knowledgeable with narcissistic abuse or who is willing to listen to your concerns. Taking steps to enhance our emotional and psychological well-being is the next logical step. Emotional triggers must be removed as well. It is possible that you will be triggered by other things that you see or hear, not only the narcissist. That's why staying on top of potential stumbling blocks is so important. The things and people in your life that bring you joy or happiness are also significant. Avoiding or having a few conversations with the narcissist might also be a part of this. The greatest method to deal with and heal from narcissists in your life is to keep your mouth shut and concentrate on getting healthier. When you stop reacting to the narcissist, forgive and let go of all the unpleasant things associated with the narcissist and focus on your healing and growth, 
you destroy the narcissist's hopes of you being defeated and sad. You'll be a better and stronger person if you prioritize your emotional well-being during your quiet time. You'll hear a lot about how essential it is to take care of your emotional well-being when you tune into this channel. Emotional manipulation and instability are common tactics used by narcissists. It's all in our heads when they're in charge of us, isn't it? We've discovered that the easiest way to break out of that spell is to keep silent and do nothing. Demoralize their self-esteem instead of boosting it by responding in a way that makes them feel good about themselves. Don't give them anything if you don't have anything to give. The best retribution or reaction you can give a narcissist is to get better, achieve and remain silent. If you have any queries or concerns, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. If you found this video useful, please like and share it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and have a wonderful week. It means a lot to me.